Modo 12.1 introduces a number of animation workflow enhancements designed to speed up the keyframing process and reuse keyframe data that's already been created. Driven actions add the ability to reuse, retime and rig action clips in the scene, allowing you to fully utilise actions within Modo for the first time. Creating a driven action creates a new channel in the scene which contains the animation from the action. This channel is defined by just two keyframes and is a linear percentage channel spanning the length of the animation. The keyframes in this channel can be moved anywhere in the timeline. This allows the action animation to be placed where you need it relative to any other animation in the scene and be easily retimed. Because it's a channel, it can be keyframed like any other channel, allowing you to produce time warping effects by slowing down or speeding up the animation in certain areas, or even reversing it. And also, because it's a regular channel, it can be rigged like any other channel, allowing you to trigger the animation based on other things that are happening in the scene. Modo now has a new default key slope type. The smooth flat slope automatically adjusts the tangent handles of a key when the key is moved, so that the incoming and outgoing curve remains flat relative to any adjacent keys that it's level with. This results in a much smoother interpolation between keys, and will vastly reduce the amount of key adjustment required whilst animating. It's also now much easier to manipulate multiple keys in the gradient editor by using the new box transform tool. By clicking on the box and moving it, all the keys within it will be moved. By moving either the corners or edges of the box, all the keys within the box will be scaled. And by holding down control and moving the corners, the box and keys within it will be deformed. The mini gradient editor has also had a number of improvements in 12.1. In order to accommodate any tangent handle that might be placed outside of the clipped space of the mini gradient editor window, the window will now automatically resize so that the handle is always accessible. The right click menu now contains edit fields that allow you to enter exact values for the keys, allowing you to define accurate envelopes without having to open the full gradient editor. And finally, a major addition to the mini gradient editor and to the whole process of working with envelopes in Modo is the implementation of envelope presets. The mini gradient editor now has a menu that allows you to save and load presets. Presets can also be saved by dragging and dropping from any selected channel in the scene into the preset browser and presets can be loaded by dragging and dropping from the preset browser into the mini gradient editor, the full gradient editor, and also any channel that supports the envelope type.